Hi everyone, my name is Sari and today I'm going to be talking about a product I'm obsessed with called Robinhood. And for those that might not be familiar, Robinhood is a free mobile trading app that allows you to buy stocks and options all from your mobile device. It's really cool and the mission of the company is to democratize the US financial markets. And what that really means is lowering the barrier to entry um, of the stock market. So any average person can buy and sell stocks without having to go through the complexity and high fees of some of the other platforms. So I'm going to be talking about why I love Robinhood, what are some of the features of the products that I really admire, and then I'll be talking about how the company makes money if the app is free. And I'll end off with suggesting a product improvement opportunity to make the app a lot better. So there's four main reasons why I really love Robinhood. One is that it's completely free. There's no monthly membership or commissions. Secondly is how simple it is. There is no complexity in creating an account or providing any paperwork. The third reason is the beautiful design, super elegant design that really tailors to the target audience. And the fourth thing I really like about Robinhood is their growth strategy. And they use a really interesting referral system that I'll dive deeper into. So first of all, it's completely free like I mentioned. There's no monthly cost or um, any fee to trade on Robinhood. And what that really um, causes is people are more willing to try out a product when it's completely free. For example, in my situation, I had a really big interest in the stock market and kind of reading up about um, trading and investing a couple of years back. But I didn't really want to go through paying the upfront fees and the commission fees of actually using a platform like E-Trade. So I didn't really tap into uh, the stock market or play around with it simply because of the cost. But when I discovered Robinhood recently, I loved the opportunity of being able to buy and sell stocks and invest at absolutely no cost. And that was a really big aspect for why I joined and why a lot of the customers that it's acquiring are able to try the platform because there's no risk um, and there's no cost involved. So it's really incentivizing users to try it out. The second reason why I love Robinhood is the simplicity. So a lot of the other um, investing or trading platforms have a lot of complications in terms of creating an account, providing proof of paperwork, maybe minimum deposits. Also at the end of the quarter or at the end of the month, you would get um, complicated information regarding kind of the trades you've done. But Robinhood found a way to simplify the entire process. Making an account is super easy. Linking your bank account is super intuitive. Even the reports for your purchase history and everything that you need to know is through the app in a very elegant manner. So it kind of removes any sort of complexity and it makes it such that there's no friction to trying out investments and playing around with the stock market. The third reason why I really like Robinhood is the beautiful design. The design itself is super clean, very intuitive, really nice layout, nice format. And what I really like about the design is that they've tailored to their user group. So 80% of Robinhood users are actually millennials. And a lot of millennials are tech savvy. They're kind of on their computer or on their phones all the time. And Robinhood has a feature which has dark mode default on times when the stock market is closed. So even the dark mode in the design really goes to show that they've considered their target user and the tech savviness millennial market is something that they're really going after and something that's very visually appealing. Even Reddit recently had a dark mode option that you can toggle and that also goes to show that Robinhood is on top of their design and it's very appealing to their customer base. The fourth reason I'd like to mention is their growth system. So the way they grow the company is not by traditional marketing or advertising. They have a really unique referral system where if you refer someone to the app and they create an account, you and the person that you referred each get a free stock that's randomly chosen. So that's a really unique way to grow the platform and socially grow the platform. So you would get to know about the product from a friend. I, for example, joined because my friend gave me their referral link and we each got a free stock. I got an Office Depot stock that was worth $2, but it was still a fun experience 
And that's how I came to know about Robinhood. And I started referring other people. So it's a really smart growth um, kind of marketing type of strategy. Now, after talking about those four reasons, I want to talk about the monetization for Robinhood. And similarly here, there's four main ways that Robinhood monetizes uh, their product, even if it's completely free and commission free. The first way is through their premium uh, subscription service that allows you to pay $5 a month for further insights, um, further analytics about uh, different stocks, analyst ratings, as well as uh, increased buying power and instant uh, deposits. So when you deposit money from your bank account, in the free version, it might take a few days. In the premium, uh, there's a bigger access to your funds right after you deposit them from your bank account. So this is kind of something that's tailored to people that are more used to investing or maybe some people that have more experience and more money in investment. And at $5 a month, it's a great deal. I actually had it for a couple months and I really used it. The second way Robinhood makes money is by uh, earning interest on account balances. So similarly to how you have money in the bank, the bank actually invests that money that's yours and earns a low interest on it in a very kind of secure investment. So Robinhood does something similar where it uses the money that's in people's account to invest in low risk um, investments themselves to make an interest on the money you have sitting around in your account. The third way that Robinhood makes money is by borrowing people money. So in the premium, uh, premium version, you have the ability to uh, borrow money from Robinhood in order to have increased buying power. So if you wanted to buy more stocks than you have money in your account to purchase, Robinhood would lend you the money and then charge you an interest based on that, which is also a good way to make money. And the fourth way that Robinhood makes money is by selling um, order flow information to other firms. So this is kind of a controversial um, topic, but there's belief and there's people that actually um, say they don't do this. But one way that people mentioned Robinhood making money is by selling um, transaction information to HFT companies, for example. So high frequency trading firms that would pay to know how many trades happened at, at that instant so they can make more accurate uh, predictions and they can um, kind of take advantage of those small errors and small delays in market data uh, to make really quick transactions. So that's the fourth way. Now going into the last step of what we're gonna be talking about, which is a way to improve Robinhood. Now I'll give one big feature and one small feature suggestion. So starting with a bigger feature, this might be a little longer term. Now going back to uh, Robinhood's uh, target market and user base. I mentioned earlier that over 80% of Robinhood users are millennials. And when I had a discussion with a product manager at Robinhood, she mentioned that one of the biggest pain points of users is not really knowing how to invest or where to invest. So she mentioned that there's a lot of people on Robinhood that have money in their account, but they're not actually utilizing it. So that kind of stems from not knowing how to invest or what to invest in. So investing is one of those things where you can read up on it as much as you want, but it's not the same thing as doing it. So a lot of it involves uh, kind of learning by doing, and some people are afraid to use their own money to learn or kind of make mistakes. So that's a really big pain point of users. Now, I think a great feature to extend the platform and address this pain point would be to add a capability for having a practice account feature. So you would have your main real account and then you would have a practice account that would use fake money and allow you to practice investing. So if you had $1,000 in your real account, you would have $1,000 of fake money in your practice account. And that encourages people to put money in their Robinhood account. And that way Robinhood will earn interest on, that, uh, on those funds. And it would allow people to play around with stocks and not having to worry about losing their money because it's in their practice account. So they would use real-time information to make trades and invest, but that would be using their fake money. And when they're ready to, when they're familiar enough with stocks, 
and they're ready to uh, use their real money, they would use their main account uh, to do that. And I think another really cool benefit with this is it allows people to get comfortable using the platform itself, Robinhood. So it would have a very similar functionality to their real profile in terms of the user interface and the design being the complete same thing, but it would just be uh, fake money that they're using. So getting kind of familiarity with the platform creates a further incentive for them to stay on the platform and get comfortable with it when it's time for them to uh, use their real money. So I think that really addresses a big pain point and it allows Robinhood to incentivize customers to deposit money into their account so they can play around with a practice account in the meantime. Now a smaller feature that might be a little more short term would be adding some customization to the dashboard on Robinhood. So there's a default view for the way you see your profile in terms of seeing your overall investments, um, your stocks, new stocks to watch. There's a very kind of uh, rigid structure and there isn't much or any customization for that right now. So I think it would be very valuable if we can include a feature that's like a drag and drop feature of customizing different views in your uh, dashboard so you can prioritize what you see at the top, what you see at the bottom, what type of view you don't want to see at all and decide which graphs are most relevant to you. So I think that's a smaller feature. So the big feature would be a practice account and I think a way to um, actually look at the metrics for that is seeing how many people are using this practice account and more importantly seeing the conversion between users that have uh, played around with the practice account and are now using their real account and making kind of uh, reoccurring trades, reoccurring deposits. So I think that's something that can give a lot of value. And regarding the smaller feature of customization, this can be uh, tracked by seeing if the user experience of customers is improving by the reviews or the comments that they're leaving for the platform or on the app store or on the website and kind of listening to customer feedback and seeing if this is something that improves their experience. That's it for me and I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick presentation about why Robinhood is the go-to app and why I'm obsessed with it right now.